So hopefully you're able to get outside, do a little stroll around the building maybe. I know, look at that day out there. That's beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. Not even a cloud in sight. And that's just because the high pressure system we have in, involved. So sinking air pushes away the cloud cover. We see blue skies. So enjoy it today while we can. Yes, exactly. And uh, basically we do see some sunshine returning on that seven day forecast, but not for quite some time. Right now we're sitting at 64 in the Richmond area. You can actually almost hear the gusts of wind at times. It is quite breezy to blustery. This is our sustained wind speeds anywhere from 10 to 15 miles per hour. Most importantly, our winds are all moving in from the south, which is contributing to today's warm up and wind gusts and in, in, in combination with that sustained wind speed. Wind gusts are seen anywhere between about 20. We did at a peak at 24 miles per hour, so that's allowing temperatures to warm up. We're sitting around the low to mid 60s at this noon hour. However, high temperatures Temperatures today will sit in the upper 60s to lower 70s under beautiful sunny skies, as you saw right there from our sky tracker. Uh, in terms of lows tonight, we're going to have cloud cover increase ahead of that front. So temperatures overnight won't be as chilly as it has been recently. Looking at overnight lows in the upper 40s to the lower 50s, and then with that blanket of cloud cover really locks in a lot of that daytime heating. But here we have our low pressure system curling out west. It's going to track across the east pretty quickly today. We're actually going to send a marginal threat. I'll have that updated later for you guys. Uh, we're seeing a marginal threat for severe weather on Wednesday. Basically, that means a one out of five on that severe weather scale. We're tracking the chance of seeing damaging wind gusts and periods of heavy rainfall. Overall, the tornadic threat remains very low with the system that we are looking for Wednesday. Let me just take you through hour by hour. Cloudy skies waking up early Wednesday morning. Likely could see a drizzle here and there, but mainly expect to see some scattered showers near the lunchtime hours. But in terms of our impact, the chance of seeing a strong to severe isolated storm, that's going to be between 3 o'clock Wednesday afternoon and 8 o'clock Wednesday evening. Roar. That's bordering around the nighttime hours as we are going looking at that one line of showers and potential storms move across the area. As for Thursday morning, we'll look at scattered showers across the area, but more importantly, we have a cold front that is going to sweep across the Commonwealth, leaving behind very cold air. If you notice right here, the Appalachian Mountains and Blue Ridge Mountains could likely see some flurries early Thursday morning, and then we're looking at dry conditions for the remainder of your Thursday. However, it is going to be rather cold. Temperatures in the upper 40s to lower 50s for Thursday and Friday. Sunshine returns and temperatures warm up over your Easter holiday weekend. Cheryl? See, all those early planters are going to have to go out and cover things up. Oh, yes. Potential frost on Friday morning. Temperatures in the 20s. It's going to be a little bit of a shock to the system. That's a little too